Hello, welcome back once again. This is just a recap for the previous video that um, we have seen. In the previous video, we decided to break the architecture down to show the paradigms of operating in the Git environment. My friend, my friend, if you want to understand anything about Git or to understand anything that I have, have, have introduced in this course, my friend, get everything that you can from this video known as the paradigms of operating operations of get or operating in the get environment because i love this video because I, i've broken the architecture that i came with last time down so that you understand exactly how we you know we walk we walk <laughs> with Git, ah, we work with Git when we are doing our our work to control the versions and to work in the team and to you know keep the backup of our work on the internet. So I'm here to give you that brief overview of what we did. Everything, as you say, as you can see, begins with the local machine. Your local machine is your computer that you have before you. The computer can be without or with Git program, regardless of whatever operating system you're using. But um, the specific operating systems uh, like uh, the Linux and the Mac OS normally, normally may come with Git program installed, Git program as, in, as the component or the ingredient of the operating system already. However, when you have like Microsoft Windows, you may need to install a Git program from the internet so that you can have Git program sitting on your machine. So you need to go to the internet if you don't have Git, a Git program sitting on your machine, and then uh, try to install uh, Git. You remember that is your local machine, local machine without Git in the local machine or PCs, <laughs> personal computers. So what you need to do when you don't have Git on your local machine is that just go to the internet and grab it from there, you know, from the website in you know, the provider of Git and then boom, install it to your local machine. My friend, this is a crucial moment because once you have Git, in your local machine you will be able to do anything but you can't just do it anyhow you need to create what is called git repositories because git program can just be sitting there on your local machine and uh, if you don't have uh, if you don't have the uh, the git you just you know install it and it will sit there if you don't create repositories my friend, Git will not disturb your machine. Git will not disturb any of your folders. You won't even use it because, you know, you have not initialized. You have not said, come on, Git, get up, wake up, you know, come and do something for me. Git will just sit there on your computer. But now, if you want to use Git on a specific folder, you need to make that folder a Git repository by initializing a Git program inside there. Remember, Git is the Git program is the version control system, version control program that detects anything that you do with your files in inside a given folder. So that folder must be a Git repository, and you can only create Git repository by creating, by initializing Git, you know, on that folder, you need to wake up Git there from your computer. If you don't create repository, my friend, you will not do anything with Git. Git will be sitting there on your computer. So that's what you need to note. Git will be there having Git alone without reposit Git repositories will do nothing. But once you have Git repositories, my friend, you can now see the power of Git tracking all the changes, everything that you do on the folder in that on the file in that repositories or folder so local folder with git initialize with git to create a uh, git repositories as you can see there my friend and then we also have what is called github 
GitHub, think of GitHub like a storage over the internet, which is used to keep the repositories of Git. So once you create local Git repositories on your local machine, you can push it over the internet and that Git repository will be kept in what is called GitHub. So GitHub hosts Git repositories. That is another point that you need to note. It is a web server found on the internet, created by Microsoft. My, I'm sorry, my, Microsoft. Microsoft created GitHub as a cloud platform for keeping the Git repositories and sharing it with others. You know, so you create your local Git repositories, you can decide to keep it within your local machine if you are not uh, sharing it with others. But at the same time, you can share the version of your codes and what you've done over the internet with others by using GitHub, which is the storage of Git repositories on the internet. So you can clone that GitHub repositories from the internet. GitHub repositories are those uh, repositories you have pushed to share with others in, found in the GitHub. You can only pull or clone that repositories on your system in order to modify it, change it, do whatever you want, and then push it over back to the internet for others to to see what you have done and uh, sometimes we have the master branch on the internet so once you have cloned a github repositories you may work on the file on the project and then you push back the copy that copy may not be exactly the same as the master so it must be merged and when you're operating in a collaborative environment where you have your manager for example and other teams they have to approve what you have done before merging it to the master branch and once they have proved they have approved that what you've done is actually good better than the previous version then they can merge it and then the rest will have to pull or fetch that version to change the previously cloned version that they have taken from the internet so that's the power of github you know it helps with the collaboration networking and controlling version remotely remember github is not a local machine it is the machine which is found on the internet think of it like a machine like a server web server it's a version of your your computer but is it is a special computer over the internet it's not in your house it is outside somewhere in the cloud and it only keeps the git repositories that you you share with others over the internet but the git repositories that you have created for yourself is just locally significant and it stays in your local machine so you can decide to share the copy and it is that copy that is kept in the github making or forming what is called github repositories so you need to take note of that and also after having all those repositories my friend you can now you know do a lot of work after working you know in, because these are now the gate working environment you do a lot of work and then you add the work to the memory which is known as staging uh, that process is known as staging and in that staging state <laughs> the the work will be there temporarily for you to commit to save so when you're staging you can view you can review you can make changes there you can modify a lot of things but then after finishing then you commit to make a permanent uh, copy of what you've done it's like taking a snapshot of your work and then you know share it with others either on the github and or keep the copy for yourself and keep on working and if you want to go back in the history you can use what is called the commit id to go back to see the previous commit that has been uh, done so um you can share share your copy with others in a github 
uh, that is making the copy of your Git repository a GitHub repository. So, my friend, you need to note this cycle here. I want you to note this cycle properly. This cycle symbolizes the operation in the environment where you are, you know, merging the global and the local environment, your machine and the machine over the internet. You work in a team in this cycle here, especially in the agile software development methodology where you're working in a small team of Scrum. Your Scrum uh, product owner and team, the product developers, will find this, this cycle very, very, very important because after after the product owner has given uh, the, the requirements or the use cases that need to be worked on, the product team developers can now join together and work on the on the code jointly from different location and they share it over the internet so that they can see the changes that they are making in real time you know extreme programming as well will be paramount we also utilize this cycle here that's how powerful git help and git you know Ah, they are very, very important. So GitHub provides a working environment where teams can share the work, work on a, on, a, on a project in real time and control the version of their project in real time, whereas Git is the one that powers all those. So you can have Git, you can have Git without the GitHub because GitHub is just like a, a, a storage, you know, and Git is the program that allows you to do the version control and you know, manage your source code control, source code, and it, it allows you to control your source code like that. And you can have Git without GitHub, but you cannot, uh, uh, you can have Git without GitHub, but you cannot have GitHub without Git. <laughs> I don't know whether that makes sense. So, this cycle here is very important for you to note, you know, and that is the purpose of this video. I want you to understand this cycle where you work in a team and share your documents both remotely and locally with others to work in an agile uh, software development environment, you know. So, whether you are a, a, a scrum masters, a project owner, or a team in an agile environment. This is the most important cycle for you. I know it may not be very important for a scrum master because scrum master is just there to facilitate, to make this easy, to create environment, to buy the machine, maybe to make the work flow. But the project owner must make sure that each and every requirements uh, has been worked on and that uh, the use case has been completely uh, done. You know, the definition of done is also extracted from here because the work must be done, <laughs> you know. So the team concentrate over here all the time like machine. So this is like the engine of Git. That's what makes Git so powerful. Git is the engine, is the is the is the engine to open the world for us, my friend. We can either work together in a team or work locally, you know, uh, work locally uh, within, you know, with ourselves. Please note that uh, if you don't want to share, if you don't want to share your work with others, not that, um, not that arrow blinking on the, on the right hand side there, because uh, that is, for example, you have decided uh, that uh, you don't want to to um, to share your work with others. You just doing your version control for yourself. You're building your personal project. You don't need to you to go to the GitHub. You can just do it within your system. And when you're doing that, you just follow this cycle here uh, on the on on the right hand side, presented by those arrow. You know. Um, you can see the blinking arrow there to complete the cycle on the left hand side. So that cycle is for your personal, uh, personal work. Whereas uh, 
the overall cycle that you can see in the middle there with the black side black circle that is where you work in a collaborative environment whereas this uh, square cycle here uh, is where you work in your local machine by yourself controlling your own version and that's what i want you to take home from this video that you have cycle for your private work in a Git, github environment and then you have another cycle when you're working with others and then there's this big cycle here going like that which symbolize uh, you know the entire git program that you have with the update sometimes you may have uh, to to upgrade the git program that you have on your system so you need to go to the internet regularly and you know and and then download the, the new version of, of of git program so that it follows this big cycle here from here then you go there and then there and then there go down up and then to the internet and then you cycle back to the uh, to, to the to the, to the local machine and then you install the gate there whereas this cycle here the one i'm wiggling mouse on this one here is for your private work you're working you create gate repositories you create a commit you're working privately on your private project maybe you don't want other people to see but git will be helping you to control the version of your work locally here and that is where git repositories is created and for you to do this and that's the power of git as well it allows you to do your private uh, source control manage your proud project privately and at the same time if you want to share that project with others you can now follow this big cycle here and go to the github you know push your project there share it with others and then clone the copy back work on it so you can have a copy of a global uh, global folder for github repositories and then you have a copy for a local folder for your github repositories and then that big cycle just for the update that you may need to be getting from the internet so take note of these three cycles i did not mention it completely in the previous video that's why i thought it would be nice for me to point it out here so that you know the paradigms of operating in the game environment so my friend thank you for viewing i hope this video has also hit home i will see you in the next video where we'll be going inside we will be going inside inside the architecture we have broken the architecture in this video and the previous one you know to know the mode of operation the paradigms of operation operation in the gate environment now we want to go deeper inside we want to dive deep inside and start writing git commands to implement uh, git in our system and try to see some examples of how we can use git to control our version and that my friend is going to come in the next video so thank you for viewing my name is once again samuel ambrose on and uh, you guys I, I really love i love you guys please give me a comment <laughs> give me a comment give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my video because more videos are coming and when you subscribe you will just hear that bell ringing cling cling each time when I, I i post a video for you and i i always post the 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 the, the, the core of my course i have a lot of video but i only post the core you know the 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 the, 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 the course not coarse grain but the fine grain of my video so that you get the grip of the main concept even before seeing uh, uh, the, the, you know the overall concept that i have so i have a lot of video for get up and once you uh, subscribe you will be able to join my course as well a full course for the github and that will give you a, a clear understanding like uh, you know you will see the, the whole picture of everything but everything is embedded on this video that you're seeing so don't be disappointed or don't feel like you're being left out you are included i'll see you in the next video